Welcome to r slash scams, where people talk about the scum of the earth that likes to try to take advantage of others. If you like what you hear, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you. So this next post is by desolation underscore Z. An eBay buyer tries to pull an interesting scam on me. If anyone knows how he was planning to have me send the item without receiving payment, please tell me. I'm curious. So the picture that he sent is this. Hello, I am the seller from eBay. What questions did you have about the Anki starter kit? What is the condition of the item? It has been used a couple of times, but nothing is missing. It even has the original startup guide. And that's it. <clears throat> now, in the comments, someone posted this. This is a very common scam here. You would receive a fake email claiming to be from PayPal. It usually says something like the funds are pending until you provide the tracking number. Going forward, you should keep in mind that anyone asking to add a gift card is 100% a scammer. Also, the phrase, what is the condition of the item, is also a giveaway that you are talking to a scammer. So, remember that. Is by Lowfig1. Facebook Marketplace Scam. Hello. Was the bed frame picked up? Please advise. Yes, it's been sold. Okay, please refund my payment. Thank you. Excuse me? What payment? I never received any payment from you. I paid Facebook $50 directly to you Facebook seller account yesterday. If you scroll above our messages, you will see the receipt of payment. And they sent a picture. So, in the comments, this is a fake payment scam that arises from many different situations. Fake job scams, fake payment scams, etc. But the bottom line is always the same. You receive a payment through PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, Cash App, or you are given a bank routing number slash account number to pay your credit card from. See the money in your account, and then you use the funds to give money to the scammer, usually through gift cards, Western Union, or cash. The original deposit gets reversed once it is discovered to be fraudulent, and any money you send to the scammer will come out of your own personal funds. If you receive an unexpected payment through Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, do not send the money back yourselves. Just ask customer service to, res to reverse the original transfer instead. So the next one is by Summertime214. Land landlord wants me to make a deposit before signing the lease. Scam? I've been trying to take advantage of the good re re rental market and move to a new apartment. I found a good one on Street Easy, toured, and submitted an application. I independently verified that the person who gave me a tour is a real, real, realtor for the building and is on the email chain with the property management company. I paid a small deposit to reserve the apartment and submitted an application. Now, the application is approved. I am on a weird communication chain with the property manager. First, they wanted me to wire over money with only a sample lease, which I refused. Then they said I could hand deliver a check after signing. But now that I've signed, they say the landlord won't sign until after the deposit. I don't understand why this is happening. It seems like if they were scamming me, they would just sign the lease at this point, And I mean... And I met the realtor in person, so what benefit are they getting from refusing to sign? Down in the comments, we have a person who commented, It may not be a scam, but I'd walk away. I did from a similar situation. Girlfriend and I saw a house to rent and were accepted. They asked for first and last month's rent immediately, even though our move in date was about three months away and they refused to provide a copy of the lease saying we'd do that later. We told them we would happily provide first and last accompanied with a signed lease. They refused so we declined the house. 
I'm not handing someone money without nothing signed. It's easier for them to take my money than it is for me to try and get it back. That at least I have a copy of it's just one person sending another person money. This next post is by Phil underscore 82. Wow, I'd be so stupid not to do this. I've heard how generous Mr. Gates can be. Now, where are my bank details? And here is the picture. Mr. and Mrs. Bill Gates Foundation. Email. On Saturday 7th of November at 1035, they have sent you. Reply me urgently. I have a very important donation to share with you. Here is my personal mailbox. Email. Have a blessed day. Regards, Mr. and Mrs. Bill Gates Foundation. And the comments section uh, it almost looks like it's from a brazilian government email so yeah (laughs) so instead of spoofing an email like a lot of scammers i guess do they used a brazilian government type email honestly i am not sure but all right. This next post is by CMG1644. Reservationdesk.com scam. Not sure if this is the right forum, but I am a well paid, usually intelligent, public service worker who, in a rush, looked to book a hotel at my usual hotel, but you expectedly ended up calling reservationdesk.com, aka Priceline. Dot com. My general complaint to every site I can find, which is three to follow, in the end I asked several times if I could cancel at any time before check-in, which was confirmed. Funny how most people believe that to mean get your money back, not reservationdesk.com. That means you can cancel whenever you want, but you aren't getting your money back. So FYI, Call takers are slick. They literally never shut up until they have your credit card number. Guess I'm getting old. Complete fraud. Fast-talking agents trying to get you your credit card number as fast as they can and pretending to be an agent of a hotel. Do not be tricked. My mistake being in a rush at work and took the first Google hit on my hotel. My booking was $100 more, plus a $12.99 booking fee to boot. I specifically asked if I could cancel. The answer was yes, of course, except when I tried two days later, the answer was yes, you can cancel, but you can't get your money back, which is a fun play on the original question. Escalate the matter? They did, of course. They listened to the tapes and I apparently agreed to the no fund policy I was quoted. I can assure you I was not quoted anything after I asked, I can cancel this, right? And told, yes, sir, up to 24 hours in advance. They even suggested they called my hotel and they refused my cancellation request. Except I called my hotel before and they warned me they would say this and that this happens all the time. Yeah, according to this site, I can cancel any time. You just won't get your money back. This company is a total fraud. Contact me for the email that you will receive when you try to cancel. Scam, scam, scam. So when I went on vacation last year, I do not like going through booking agencies. I prefer to actually go directly to the website of the hotel or motel that I'm staying at. I can't remember what motel I was staying at, but I do know It was, I think, a couple of miles from the downtown Salem where they have all the shops. And there was a Dunkin' Donuts that was like a block or two away that I would go for breakfast. It was a cute little motel. I would definitely go back there again. Um, But I I directly talked to them about all my booking. And I definitely don't remember having a booking fee it was all 
everything was included in the final price. Like there was no booking fee. So to me, it would be suspicious if there was a booking fee because I've never heard of a booking fee. But for anyone who might be listening and travels, let me know down in the comments if there is a booking fee because I'm definitely curious about that. I also apologize if it sounds like I'm wheezing. We have started cleaning and we're now finally at my room. And apparently I had a lot more dust in my small little corner than I thought. So all day my breathing has been quite difficult with my asthma and the fact that I'm allergic to dust when it is stirred up. So I do apologize for this video if it sounds like I am out of breath. I definitely don't mean to be out of breath. And the last video is by Abington Musing. Reply to a Craigslist ad and got this. Scam? My name is Patrick Noel Walker. I personally own the property. I and my wife came to a conclusion to lease out the property due to my transfer from California to U.S., I would like to give the property out to a responsible person that can take very good care of it. Our main objective is to make sure our property is well taken care of while we are away. At the moment, we are here in United State, and we don't have any plan of coming back anytime soon. We came down here with the keys and documents of the property. We really do want our property to be well maintained. We never thought of staying this long, but due to the outbreak of the pandemic, we had to stay behind. More, also, my family love it here. I work as a software developer. My wife would be going back to work after having our second baby. We hope you would take very good care of the property. Kindly get back to me on how you could convince me that you are a perfect fit for our property perhaps experience you have in securing a home. The rent fee is included with all utilities. I am looking forward to hear from you ASAP, so as to forward you an application form to fill, and more also discuss on how to get the property out to you. Thanks. God bless you, Patrick. Yeah, scam. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was just torture, just trying to read through all the grammatical errors and like my brain just wanted to fix all of them as I was reading. If you are going to be leasing out a property, you should at least know proper grammar. I mean, I mean to me, a big red flag would be a lot of grammatical errors. I know even though English is my first language, I still struggle with English grammar and those where English is not their first language, obviously they might not have great grammar. But if you're in a business of like, you know, talking to people about leasing properties, you should at least know proper grammar, proper spelling, all of that stuff. Maybe have a mistake here or there, but that is too many mistakes. And yeah, the this is just a scammer. And so that is it for my r slash scams. Um, this one is a bit different. There's not a lot of texts. I did add some stories that have texts in it, but I feel like as I'm going through this subreddit that it's mostly like pictures or people asking if something is a scam. So this will probably be one of the, actually probably the only Reddit type video I make that will mostly be of pictures. So I hope you do not mind that. If you do like um, this r slash scams subreddit that's fairly small, if you do like it, please like, hit that like button and subscribe for more. I will definitely do more of these scams.